hey guys uh, welcome to my youtube channel today i am going to show you how to create request for quotation in sap fury okay so for to do this first you have to log into your fury using your web browser then you have to select that particular uh, fury type so this is the fury type for request for quotation okay and click on it all right so here then you have to enter the request type and the language uh, request quotation date okay and then uh, so i can enter the quotation deadline as well so this is the date where your quotation will expire okay you can select whatever the date uh, you want there is no restriction and here you have to enter the purchasing group okay and so if these not these fields not automatically filled you have to fill these things manually okay so i'm going to actually create this request for quotation uh, with reference to the purchase requisition okay so to do that one okay so you have to go more and rfq create with reference to purchase requisition okay sorry first fill the deadline okay and here okay more and rfq create with reference to purchase requisition okay here if you know your requisition number you can enter it directly if you don't know so i'll search from my material okay six six okay all right so let's see okay this is my purchase requisition number here you have to select your storage location uh, okay so this is my trading good material so i select it and then uh, okay. i select all I, all items but here i have only one app. but you have more purchase requisitions you can select all the purchase requisition as well okay then here i have the option to create as adapt okay then i will select it okay so it will adapt the data so here actually so this gives the error because this quotation deadline date and deliver date is equal mm, so i have to correct the quotation deadline date so i will make it a little bit early means let's say today is 14th and i'll make it december 14th okay so here that's the error i got then i click on header detail right so in the header detail you can change the data uh, whatever the data you want okay So those are the these are actually the reference field so whatever the reference i can enter okay and then uh, you can go to the overview so i click on the overview now it i'm seeing the item details of the particular request for quotation so here also you have option to change whatever the data you want okay select the supply address to enter the supplier data okay actually your vendor master data so here you have to enter your vendor uh, if you know the vendor number you can enter or, or else otherwise you can search and you can enter it here okay so this is my vendor wrong okay 
let me search with my search term there are so many Let's see. Okay, so here's my vendor number one two five zero eight zero. Okay, then I press enter one time. The data will be filled automatically. All right. So here the vendor details are there. So then I save. Okay. So the system shows request for quotation is already created. Now we have completed the creation of RFQ okay so here the option uh, the theory provide is if you want to create the multiple request for quotation for multiple vendors right you don't have to go back and come again and enter the detail right so here I already created for one vendor if you want to create for another vendor only thing you have to just enter the uh, new vendor code here okay. and then press enter see data is coming automatically then save okay so i'll do the same for another vendor press enter data is coming save okay so here i have created actually three okay request for quotations right now this step is done okay so thank you very much for watching my video please subscribe to my youtube channel